Okay, in the second video, I'm going to do another implicit differentiation problem. It'll be follow-up to the other one. And in the first one, uh, we had the equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals sine of yz. In our other video, um, we found the partial of z with respect to x. So now let's find the partial of z with respect to y. And the idea is the same, only though now we'll be, we will simply be treating x like a constant. So, when we go to take our derivatives, again, we're taking the partial with respect to y. Well, if I'm treating x like a constant, again, that means x squared's a constant. So the derivative of x squared will simply be 0. The derivative of y squared will be 2y. And now when we take the derivative of z squared, we'll get 2z. But again, z's are dependent variable, so we have to remember to tack on the partial of z with respect to y. Okay, so on the right side, same thing, we'll have to use the chain rule, so we'll get cosine of yz. Now we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, but now we're both kind of thinking, we're thinking about, in the other video, we treated y like a constant, so things were kind of easy. Now we're thinking about y and z as both being variables in a sense. So if I take the derivative with respect to y, I'll simply get 1z plus, and now I'll leave the y part alone. If I take the derivative of z, I'll simply get 1 um, partial of z with respect to y, again remembering to tack that part on. And now I've taken the derivative, so the same thing, we just simply want to solve for the partial of z with respect to y. Um, so we can do that. So we've got 2y on the left plus 2z, the partial of z with respect to y. Um, on the right side, since we have two terms in the brackets, I'm going to distribute things out. So the cosine of yz would have to get multiplied to both, to both terms. We're just distributing here. So I'm going to put the z out front. We'll get z times cosine of yz. And then when we distribute again, we'll get plus, I'm going to write the y partial of z with respect to y stuff. And then we have cosine of yz. Same thing as before. Now just put all your partials on the same side, factor it out, divide by what's left. So I'll put everything on the left. Um, so notice we have the partial of z with respect to y times 2z. I'm going to go ahead and factor things out just to save myself a step. So the partial of z with respect to y, um, the 2z is in there. Notice um, the y, partial z, partial y, cosine yz, that's got a partial in there. So if I subtract it over and factor it out, I would be left with the minus y cosine of yz term equals, and now we'll put everything that didn't have a partial derivative attached to it on the right side. So we've got z times cosine of yz that was already on the right hand side, and this 2y that's chilling out on the left, we'll simply subtract it over. And last but not least, all you have to do is simply divide through by all this stuff. So it says the partial of z with respect to y. My partials look like twos, so those definitely aren't twos. Those are partial derivatives. So the partial of z with respect to y would be z um, times cosine of yz minus 2y, all divided by 2z minus y times cosine of yz, okay? And that would be your answer. So again, you know, pretty tedious. I think it's easy to get kind of lost between all the variables and, you know, who, who's a variable, who's not a variable. So two things I would do, again, make sure you remember how to do implicit differentiation and single variable um, from first semester calculus. And just also make, just make sure that you're comfortable taking partial derivatives in general. If you can remember those two ideas, I think, and put them together, um, doing implicit differentiation hopefully won't be too bad.